It lays the predicate and the foundation for the development of a weather satellite that will permit man to determine the world's cloud layer and ultimately to control the weather and he who controls the weather will control the world. Is geoengineering real? ABC Channel 7 Chief Meteorologist Mike Kruger recently made the following statements on the air, which were recorded by geoengineeringwatch.org. And geoengineering is indeed a real study. It's a real thing that is being conducted in many different ways. Geoengineering, which is legitimate and real and not dangerous, um, at least chemical-wise, while publicly admitting to the geoengineering reality, ABC Channel 7 Chief Meteorologist Mike Kruger claims to know that the chemicals being used are not dangerous. Geoengineeringwatch.org would like to ask this of you, Mr. Kruger. How exactly are you able to come to such a conclusion, given the fact that countless lab tests from all over the globe have proven highly toxic climate engineering elements like aluminum, barium, strontium, and polymer fibers are in fact raining down through the atmosphere, toxic elements which we are all inhaling with each and every breath we take. And geoengineering is indeed a real study. It's a real thing that is being conducted in many different ways. Geoengineering, which is legitimate and real and not dangerous, um, at least chemical-wise, legitimate and real and not dangerous, um, at least chemical-wise. Are we to believe ABC Channel 7 Chief Meteorologist Mike Kruger's assurance that geoengineering is, quote, not dangerous? Even though all available data says otherwise, of course not. All of us are needed in the battle to sound the alarm. We must all make every day count. Share credible data from a credible source. This is Dane Wigginton with geoengineeringwatch.org.